What's going on guys, Coach Stoneface here and welcome back to another video. As you can see in the background, we have some hits from our mystery tin week number one. But today, I wanted to go, um, got an email from Pressing Marketing, had a couple limited edition packs back in stock, so I just wanted to give them a shot. Some of these we've opened on the channel before, some we haven't. So we'll just give it a quick overview. We have the 5 plus 1, I think is what they call it, or 1 plus 5. So it is one pack of retail upper deck 2020, 2021 series one and five cards. Now in the past, it has been five young guns. That is not the case anymore. It is one young gun, one superstar, one memorabilia card and two additional inserts. So we'll see what that's like. Um, obviously before it was the five young guns. So had some pretty good value there. This is $9.99 American or $12.49 Canadian. We then have our hat trick, which this includes three mem or so relic cards or uh, autographs. Uh, looks like we have three memorabilia cards in this one. And then we have this special edition hat trick, which so it's same thing, limit edition, you know, three jersey cards and or autograph cards. This one has one guaranteed, so it says, says special edition right there on it. It has one guaranteed Hall of Fame memorabilia card in it. So we'll give them a shot here. We'll start off with uh, the one plus five. Now, previously they had a little notch. What you could just rip these open. I don't want to wreck anything. All right. We will open up the pack here today as well. Pressing marketing information, which nobody bothers to look at anyway. All right. So we have our series one there. So we have a Connor McDavid SP Authentic base. We have a Matt Stajan, or if you play NHL, Matt Stahan jersey card there. And that is from... 0809 series one we have a William Carlson red we have a Ryan Nugent Hopkins canvas and I believe that is from 1718 I was gonna say 1819 but 1718 and then we have a Tom Kunakel young guns so there we go um, if we're talking about value in this one I believe you know a retail pack in Canada right now it's going for about seven eight dollars so let's just say it's on the high end eight dollars we're looking for 450 in these cards in terms of value. I mean, we don't have it in in this, but it's all going to come down to if we hit a decent Young Guns. I haven't opened up Series 1 really since it came out. Um, I've been opening up a lot of Series 2, even Extended Series. So, obviously, we're Laffy hunting and not much else. So, yeah, UC Soros. Uh, I don't think we have a Young Guns. Um, Tivo Teravainen. Philip Zadina. And we have, oh, a Young Guns canvas of Jake Ottinger. There we go. I am wrong. That is not bad. Not a bad one at all. UD Young Guns canvas of Jake Ottinger. I know... Probably not the biggest name, but I am a, as a goalie fan. I'm a big fan of Jake Ottinger and what he can do there in Dallas. And then just more base in the practice jersey of Duchesne. All right. So there we go. First one. Hey, you know what? Not too bad. You know, all things considered, it wasn't a terrible, um, terrible pack. So now we'll go into the hat trick. The first one. We already know the we have Jose Theodore on the front. We will use our decoy here. So let's. All right. So we have our Jose Theodore. There we go. And it is. Does it say on the front of this card on that piece? Worn by Jose Theodore in an official NHL game. So we do have a game use piece there. And it's from. Oh. Six so 0506. Next, we have okay, a future watch auto of Brennan Leipzig. Not a good name, but not a bad card. 
I guess you could say. So there we go. This is from 1617. Brandon Leipzig Future Watch Auto. And then our last one is of the Ducks 15. That's Getzlaff. We have a Fleer Showcase Jersey Stitches. And this is from 1314 Fleer. So there we go. Um, worn in an official NHL game. So first pack and this one again was kind of like the the one plus five was 9.99 or 12.49 canadian so we got a future watch auto and two jerseys you know what not a bad names um again resale value not going to be there but at the same time not bad at all i'm i'm quite happy with that i've, I've had some of these before and they've been really bad so not but not bad at all and so we'll go to our special edition one. We'll see. I don't know if it's... The ad was unclear if it's three plus an additional one or if it is three including the special edition one. But it does look like we have four cards in there. They all seem to be a bit thicker. So I'm guessing we have four memorabilia cards. But we have our Boone Jenner. Is this 1819? 1718. There we go, Boone Jenner. So I should say this one was 1649 Canadian. I don't remember what it was, American. Next card is. Oh, we have a double jersey card. Nope. So it is just three cards. Okay. We have a Brent Burns Black Star Coverage Relic. So Brent Burns, this is from 0-15-16 Black Diamond. Um, and it is certified to be used in an official NHL game. So made it look like it was two, can't really see, but it's like two cards put together there with the relic in the middle. So Brent Burns. So this one is going to be a Hall of Famer. Upper Deck, Maple Leafs, Matt Sundin. So we have Frozen Fabrics here of Matt Sundin. You can kind of see it's a... Uh, iced out on the back there so you can't really see with it being white on white but you can see the jersey from the back and this is from can't read the date 2004 so we do have a frozen fabrics so upper deck ice from Matt's Sundin so this one for how much more it was I mean we do get a black diamond you get a you do get a Matt Sundin jersey and a Boone Jenner jersey. Now we probably just got a little bit lucky getting a future watch auto, but I would almost say that this the the cheaper pack might have been the better pack in this one. Um, now again, Sunday and Relic could go for a bit more than I think. Maybe a Black Diamond jersey goes for a bit more than I think. But all in all, there we go. So I just wanted to open up a couple different packs. Now I do have, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to contain myself. So I do have one additional pack of Upper Deck Series One here. Um, on a pack that I opened up earlier. So you know what? Let's just do that. I opened up one earlier just to see before I went on video what I was kind of dealing with here. It came with a Vasilevsky, a Patrick Elias jer dual jersey. So try er, two color, three color, however you want to say it. Mark Stone portraits, goalie nightmares of Sedin, and a Connor Brickley young gun. So that one definitely didn't have a ton of value with it. Um, it's going to come down to whether we get something good out of the base pack or out of the retail pack I mean so not looking great looks like a base pack to be honest so we go just go through it I know there's no French in retail so there we go just a base pack so yeah definitely not as good but there you have it there let me know what you guys think in the in the comments it is pristine marketing um you know like I said it's it's 999 American 1249 for the for the one plus five plus just the base hat trick, and then this one was sixteen forty nine Canadian, so I'm guessing it would be, I don't know, like twelve fifty something like that American for that. So let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you very much for liking, or thank you very much for sticking around. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon for mystery tin number two.